Okay, it's time for an apple fritter. Here's your host, Jimmy Apple. Welcome to another episode of An Apple a Day is the Fritter. I'm your host, Jimmy Apple. What is hypertension? High blood pressure is a common condition that affects the body's arteries. It's also called hypertension. If you have high blood pressure, the force of the blood pushing against the artery walls is consistently too high. The heart has to work harder to pump the blood. The blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury, or MMHG. In general, hypertension is a blood pressure reading of 130 over 80, or higher. The American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association divide blood pressure into four general categories. Ideal blood pressure is categorized as normal. Normal blood pressure is 120 over 80, or lower. Elevated blood pressure is the top number ranges from 120 to 129, and the lower number is below or and not above 80. Stage 1 hypertension, the top number ranges from 130 to 139, the bottom number is between 80 and 89. Stage 2 hypertension, the top number is 140 or higher, and the bottom number is 90 or higher. Blood pressure higher than 180 over 120 is considered hypertensive emergency or crisis. Seek emergency medical help for anyone with these blood pressure numbers. Untreated high blood pressure increases the risk of heart attack, stroke, and other serious health problems. It's important to have your blood pressure checked at least every two years starting at age 18. Some people need more frequent checks. Healthy lifestyle habits such as not smoking, exercising, and eating well can help prevent and treat high blood pressure. Some people need medicine to treat high blood pressure. Most people with high blood pressure have no symptoms, even if the blood pressure readings reach dangerously high levels. You can have high blood pressure for years without any symptoms. A few people with high blood pressure may have headaches, shortness of breath, and nosebleeds. However, these symptoms aren't specific. They usually don't occur until high blood pressure has reached severe or, li- or life-threatening stages. When to see a doctor. Blood pressure screenings are an important part of general health care. How often should you get your blood pressure checked? Depends on your age and overall health. Ask your provider for a blood pressure reading at least once every two years, starting at age 18. If you're age 40 or older, or you're 18 to 39 with a high risk of high blood pressure, ask for a blood pressure check every year. Your care provider will likely recommend more frequent readings if you have high blood pressure or risk factors for high blood pressure disease or heart disease. Children age 3 or older may have blood pressure measured as part of their yearly checkup. If you don't regularly see a care provider, you may be able to get a free blood pressure screening at a health resource fair or other locations in your community. Free blood pressure machines are also available in some stores and pharmacies. The accuracies of these machines depends on several things such as the correct cuff size and proper use of the machine. Ask your health care provider for advice on how to use public blood pressure machines. Causes. Blood pressure is determined by two things, the amount of blood that the heart pumps and how hard it is for the blood to move through the arteries. The more blood that the heart pumps and the narrower the arteries, the higher the blood pressure. There are two main types of blood pressure. Primary hypertension, this is also called essential hypertension, and secondary hypertension. For most people, there's no identifiable causes of high blood pressure. This type of high blood pressure is called primary hypertension or essential hypertension. It tends to develop gradually over the years. Plaque builds up in the arteries and increases the risk of high blood pressure. Secondary hypertension. This type of high blood pressure is caused by an underlying condition. It tends to appear suddenly and cause higher blood pressures than does primary hypertension. Conditions and medications that can lead to secondary hypertension include adrenal gland tumors, blood vessel problems at birth, also called congenital heart defects, cough and cold medicines, some pain relievers, birth control pills, and other prescription drugs, 
illegal drugs such as cocaine and amphetamines, kidney disease, obstructive sleep apnea, and thyroid problems. Sometimes just getting a health checkup causes blood pressure to increase. This is called white coat hypertension. Risk factors. High blood pressure has many risk factors. Age, the risk, the risk of high blood pressure increases with age. Until about age 64, high blood pressure is more common in men. Women are more likely to develop high blood pressure at age 65. Race, high blood pressure is particularly common among black people. It develops at an earlier age in black people than it does in white people. Family history, you're more likely to develop high blood pressure if your parents or a sibling have, the, have this condition. Obesity and being overweight. Excess weight causes changes in blood vessels, kidneys, and other parts of the body. Lack of exercise. Not exercising causes weight gain. Tobacco use or vaping. Too much salt. A lot of salt, also called sodium, in the body can cause the body to retain fluid. This, in this increases blood pressure. Low potassium. Potassium helps balance the amount of salt in the body's cells. Proper balance of potassium is important for good heart health. Drinking too much alcohol. Alcohol use has been linked to increased blood pressure, particularly in men. Stress. High levels of stress can lead to temporary increase in blood pressure. Certain chronic conditions. Kidney disease, diabetes, sleep apnea are some of the Conditions that can lead to high blood pressure. Pregnancy. Sometimes pregnancy can cause high blood pressure. High blood pressure is most common in adults, but kids can have high blood pressure too. High blood pressure in children may be caused by problems with kidneys or heart. But for a growing number of kids, high blood pressure is due to a lifestyle habits, such as an unhealthy diet and lack of exercise. Complications. Excessive pressure on the artery walls causes high blood pressure and can damage blood vessels and body organs. The higher the blood pressure, the longer it goes uncontrolled, the greater the damage. Uncontrolled high blood pressure can lead to complications including heart attack and stroke, aneurysms, heart failure, kidney problems, eye problems, metabolic syndromes, changes in your memory and understanding, and dementia. So well, there you have it. The hypertension or high blood pressure left unchecked not only can cause all these problems, but ultimately can kill you. So maintain your health. Maintain your doctor's appointments. Work with your doctor. Do what the doctor tells you. I want to thank you for stopping by today. And I want to remind you, no one ever went blind by looking at things from the bright side. So give it a shot. Hey, be the reason somebody smiles today. Give someone the, a reason to smile. You've been listening to An Apple a Day's The Fritter. My name is Jimmy Apple, and I'll talk to you again. Have a great one, my friends. Join Jimmy tomorrow for another Apple Fritter. In the meantime, stop over at our YouTube group page, Living with a Disability. Join in the conversation and make some new friends. See you next time. <laughs>